All right, before I get into this video, I just want to say my thoughts and prayers are with everyone that was affected by what happened to Astro World the other day. This was an extremely tragic event, and rest in peace to all the people that passed away. So in this video, I wanted to talk about what exactly happened that night, why it happened, and who's to blame for it. All right, so as you probably know, at the Astro World Music Festival, while Travis Scott was performing, eight people in the crowd died, 11 people went into cardiac arrest, and over hundreds were injured. There were a couple facts factors that led to this. One of them was crowd crush. If you're not sure what that is, it's when you're in a really dense crowd and you're being pushed from all angles basically and you can't move, you can't lift your arms. If your arms are already in the air, you can't put them down and it gets really hard to breathe because everyone's just pressed up against each other. But then when crowds are like this, once one person falls over, then everyone kind of topples over like dominoes and everyone falls onto each other. It's basically everyone's worst nightmare. And this also obviously causes panic, which leads to stampedes. And also I'm sure a lot of people were really dehydrated and there were also rumors of someone handing out lace drugs and the atmosphere of the concert was completely unsafe most of the people working at the venue that night were very unprofessional and if you know travis scott concerts he attracts a pretty chaotic crowd and the security here was basically non-existent and everyone just stormed right through the security checkpoint and the tactics they used to prevent people from entering were pretty questionable they had basically just try to beat people up so i'm just going to play a quick clip of people storming the entrance and knocking down the metal detectors and then the security guards they're in like all black and they're wearing like hoodies and listen i don't know what security is supposed to do in this position like maybe they're doing the right thing here but this just seems completely unprofessional to me and just to let things get to this point obviously someone screwed up somewhere here like this is out of control <laughs> So I think right when people saw shit like this happening, this event should have been canceled immediately. And I think I read that there were like 150 police officers there, but like, where the hell were they here? Like, I saw two of them right in this video, but shouldn't there be more? Like, this is chaos. But I don't know. Maybe they're all just spread out through the place and they should have had a lot more because so many problems started here with just letting everyone run right through. Like, the most obvious things are nobody's going through a metal detector, nobody's getting padded down, and nobody's checking tickets. Like, right now, there's a story going around that some guy was walking around injecting people with drugs which probably would have been prevented if there's good security and also people just could have walked right in with anything and also whoever wanted to could have just showed up and ran right through the gate and attended this show and they don't know how many people even attended since nobody was checking tickets the place was probably way over capacity and they probably didn't have enough emts and security guards this event was just a complete disaster in terms of being prepared and being organized and having good security which you especially need at a travis scott concert because this guy gets people going fucking crazy so whoever organized organize this event or whoever helped set it up should be in big trouble here and obviously some of the fans should be in trouble too some of these people are out of their fucking minds and have no regard for anyone else and they will do whatever they can to impress travis scott even if it puts other people's safety at risk like at one point during the concert this little ambulance truck had to go pick people up inside the crowd and the person or people it picked up were probably dying so of course travis scott fans just naturally start jumping on top of it and attacking people in it and trying to stop it from moving here's a quick video i think drake's on stage with travis scott here and there's some guy in the crowd just jumping on top of an ambulance so i just wanted to point out something really quick that i think is kind of weird like there's a good amount of footage on the internet of this concert but there's really not that much like a lot of people are sharing the same four or five videos which i think is kind of weird because basically every single person at this concert was filming for some reason nowadays people would rather just record the whole concert than just watch it themselves like it's crazy i know people that when they go to a concert they'll put the whole concert on snapchat like i don't think they're watching the concert all themselves they're just looking at it through a phone which you could do anywhere but i just wanted to point out really quick I think it's kind of weird that there's not that much footage out there considering basically every single person was recording it But I don't know why there's not that much footage of it. I don't have any conspiracy theory or anything I just think it's kind of odd So now I just want to show really quick exactly how disturbed some of these Travis Scott fans are One of the guys that was jumping on the ambulance was called out on Instagram by somebody else And the person said one of the reasons why people couldn't get the help they needed because of selfish fuckhead cloud chasers like this That'll do anything for 10 seconds of fame. You're an L. They tagged the person 
person, you consider it as fuck and you a lame ass dude. Then the person who was jumping on the ambulance responded and said, LOL, if you know me, you know me. And then he responded again and said, uh oh guys, cancel culture added again. This is how I know the crowd was full of baby butt soft ass people. We rage for real. I'm sorry you guys want to have a sad day about it. With that, it's tragic what happened, but don't blame me. I just come to have fun and that I did. So it sounds like this guy doesn't have much remorse and doesn't think he even did anything wrong. So now I want to talk about how responsible Travis Scott is for what happened. This has been a big debate on the internet. Obviously, Travis has some hardcore fans that are never going to admit that he did anything wrong. They're saying like, hey, this is the crowd, man. Like if you get involved in this, you know what to expect. Or they will say it's all the crowd's fault because they're acting like idiots and they will come up with any response to try to defend him and take the blame off of him and make it seem like he's not responsible. But I think the majority of people here realize that he holds some responsibility, which I'd completely agree with. I'm not going to say it's all 100% his fault. Like whoever helped him put on this event is definitely responsible as well, but he screwed up big time here and he should be held responsible. First of all, this guy promotes this kind of behavior at his concerts. He wants it to be completely out of control. He's gotten in trouble multiple times for telling people to hop barricades and ignore security. Like I've never gone to a Travis Scott concert, but most people that have will say that this was bound to happen eventually. This guy seems like he just has no respect for his fans. There are a couple other instances where this guy encourages some pretty bad behavior at his concerts. There's one concert in New York City, I believe, where he encouraged some guy to jump off of a balcony. And I believe that this guy got seriously hurt. I think I might've read that he was paralyzed and he tried to sue Travis Scott, allegedly. <laughs> Like this is definitely irresponsible. Like this guy's fans would probably do anything for him. So they're gonna listen to whatever he says. And this is a problem with celebrities and the kind of influence that they have. People will listen to them and they can get people to do anything. And the people that are worshiping these celebrities so much need to realize that they do not have your best interest at heart. They do not care about you as much as you think that they do. And a lot of these celebrities get to a point where they're just so out of touch with reality. And I'm not saying every celebrity, but a lot of them, they really don't care that much about you. They don't think they're equal to you and they can't relate to you. They're just in their own world. And I'm not saying that they don't care about people at all, but they definitely think they are more important than the average person. Like this Travis Scott situation, this was his festival. He probably made a shitload of money from it and the environment for his fans was completely unsafe. It looked like they probably spent 90% of the budget on the stage for Travis to run around on while he's staring at people passed out. And the other 10% was for a few security guards and EMTs and a stupid little ambulance cart. And it sounded like most of the EMTs and security guards didn't even know what they're doing there. So Travis Scott probably got paid maybe millions of dollars for this festival and they make this amazing stage for him because you know he's got to look cool and impress all of his fans and he encourages his fans to just go ballistic and tells them to hop the security gates sometimes and just try to make it past security guards and like basically starts a riot. Like he once tweeted this I think right before his concert he said nah and we still sneaking in the wild ones. So he basically allegedly told people to sneak into one of his concerts and of course he deleted this tweet right after last night before he was even given an apology or any kind of statement he started deleting tweets that's how much he cares about his fans the first thing he does is starts deleting tweets to cover his own ass you know not address the people that passed away that night or apologize for what happened so before i get back to the events that happened at Astro World, i just want to show one more example where travis had some questionable behavior with his fans so at this concert one of his fans tries to steal his shoe which is fucked up like obviously you shouldn't be doing that but then travis turns around and tells all the other fans to get him and basically beat him up which seems pretty dangerous dangerous like this is over a shoe like how many pairs of shoes does Travis Scott have like the guy's probably worth like 40 million dollars get that motherfucker get him you tried to take my shoe you want to be a thief fuck him up fuck him up fuck him up Fuck him up! Fuck him up! Fuck him up! Get him out of here! Get him out of here! All right, so now that you have an idea of how this guy acts at some of his concerts and how he treats his fans, I want to go back to talking about what happened the other night. So obviously, not all Travis Scott fans were complete assholes the other night. There are a lot of fans that did heroic things and saved people's lives. One very popular video that's been going around the internet is of these two fans that are trying to get the cameraman's attention and trying to get him to stop the show. And these two kids are a billion times more responsible than anyone that had anything to do with this show. But unfortunately, this cameraman is an asshole and he wouldn't help 
them at all even though they're saying that people are dying down there and he probably saw people dying and you could see that these kids are desperate to do anything to help but this cameraman will just not help them at all and he i think he even threatens to push the girl off the platform and then at the end you can hear travis say you all know what you came here to do which i think he's just acknowledging how crazy the concert's getting and he's saying like hey you know how crazy this was gonna be Two hands to the sky. Oh, two hands to the sky. Two hands up. Y'all yeah, two hands up. Y'all know what y'all came to do. Chase me. Let's go. I mean, this is some dark shit right here. These people probably felt so helpless. And this shows that Travis Scott knew something was wrong, but he just really didn't care. Like, I don't know the whole timeline of events here, but there was also a video that I'm not gonna play because it's too graphic, but it's of a kid having a seizure. And Travis Scott pauses his show for a sec just to point him out and tell people to get him help. But then he just continues performing like nothing happened while this kid's getting dragged away lifeless. So Travis Scott at his concert saw people jumping on an ambulance while they're trying to save people. And I don't believe he told anybody to stop or like make room for the ambulance and then he also sees a kid have a seizure and stops the show for a second but then just continues right on and then he hears people yelling out that he should stop the show because it's getting dangerous and people are getting hurt and he says y'all know what you came here to do but people will still say that there's nothing he could have done to help anybody and if he stopped the show it wouldn't have helped anything which i think is completely ridiculous he 100 percent should have stopped the show if there's that much chaos going on around you and people are dying you need to stop performing like if he stopped and there's no more noise and the lights turned on like it would probably help people out and also if he yells at his fans to make room for an ambulance or get off the top of an ambulance they're gonna listen to him because they worship the guy but he didn't do any of that and he didn't stop the show because this is the kind of environment that he wants and i'm not saying he wanted people to die or anything but he didn't mind if people got hurt he didn't mind if there's chaos and people were nervous that's part of the experience for him that's part of the entertainment at his shows he promotes his fans reckless behavior like this is his music festival that he started like this is his scene right here like i'm sure he's thinking the crazier the better and the more memorable he doesn't seem to mind people just going crazy jumping on ambulances storming security barriers and this kind of atmosphere at his concerts was going to continue until something like this happened because it sounds like the vibe at his concerts is like let's just go fucking nuts it's every man for himself whatever happens happens and if people get hurt or pass out that's just part of the show you got to continue on and i know some people are getting conspiratorial now and saying this is some kind of illuminati ritual and travis scott was making like a sacrifice to the devil or some shit which i think is ridiculous and people do that with basically every tragedy that occurs but i do think at travis scott's concerts he does get off on seeing chaos and like that's what makes a good concert to him that's the scene he's going for like in that video he said you know what you came here to do i bet if you asked him about people getting hurt at his shows before this show he would probably have just said this is what the people signed up for this guy does not have much respect for his fans he's willing to put their lives at risk just for an entertaining concert and there's some weird coincidences with this album that i just wanted to point out really quick his newest album i believe is utopia but i think this is the album cover for it it says the true dystopia is here when the end arrives it's really the beginning and one of the singles from the album is called escape plan which is pretty eerie and if you don't know what dystopia means it's basically a society where people are suffering all the time and people are dehumanized so that concert the other night was a perfect example of some dystopian shit like if you read some of the stories from the people that were there it sounds like a living hell people were passed out having seizures getting carried away people were stuck and being trampled and being crushed to death while some rich as fuck millionaire rapper stands on a stage staring over him moaning some auto-tune bullshit into a mic and kylie and kendall jenner and i think the rest of the kardashians are standing like 20 yards away acting like nothing's wrong like i think that concert would be the best way to describe a living hell and then the morning after the concert just to cap off how ridiculous shit has become and how dystopian this shit is people magazine posted this article to their Twitter account titled Pregnant Kylie Jenner Uninjured After Travis Scott Astro World Incident Leaves Eight Dead, says sources. You gotta be kidding me. Like, what the hell has this world come to? How could somebody think that this article was a good idea? Eight people died at this billionaire's boyfriend's concert, and you post an article about how she made it out safe, and you use her name as clickbait in the title, and then at the very end of the title, you put that eight people died, and most people went through absolute hell that night, and some people probably did 
some heroic shit to help save each other and this article is busy talking about kylie jenner it's just ridiculous so travis scott actually has given a statement since the concert and he also i think did a live stream where he talked about things so on twitter he posted this statement and it's pretty much exactly what you'd expect it to be i'm sure some pr team typed this up for him to post and it took him a while to post this i think he posted the next morning i think he was too busy deleting tweets to post an apology so he also posted some videos to instagram talking about the concert and i'm not going to play those because it's exactly what you'd expect he says he's sorry but he's also trying to defend himself and say he's always looking out for his fans best interests and whenever somebody's hurt he'll point it out and stop the show and help him and i'm sure some people are happy with his apology but i would imagine most people are expecting a lot more from him to try to make up for this in my opinion i think his apology was pretty pathetic he didn't even take any responsibility for what happened and he should be taking a lot of responsibility here like obviously there's a lot of other people to blame but he needs to admit he fucked up big time here and his apology in my opinion didn't really even seem that sincere to me it just seemed like he was trying to cover his ass and get people to think that he cares but it doesn't really matter what i think it matters what everyone who is affected by the concert thinks and what his fans think but after seeing the videos from the concert the other night i'm sure most people have a really bad image of this guy in their head and it's going to take a lot for it to change i think there's a lot of people that will never go to a travis scott concert again i think only his like real hardcore like crazy nut job fans are going to go to his concert still but i would also imagine that they're going to completely change how concerts and festivals like this operate so i know i was pretty hard on travis in this video but i think he holds a lot of responsibility here obviously not all of it there's a lot of other people that are responsible like the people that plan the event and the security team and some of the fans like some of these people are just animals and they need to get help honestly they are putting people's lives at risk just to impress and satisfy a celebrity and travis scott is obviously a terrible influence on these people that's another reason why i think he should be responsible here he's encouraged people to break through security and try to jump over barriers and sneak into his concerts and jump off balconies and beat people up so when people go to his concerts they want to outdo the next one they want to make it even crazier to satisfy travis scott in his apology video he talks about how much he loves his fans and how much he cares for his fans but if you really care about your fans you're not going to tell them to do stupid shit like that and when they do stupid shit you should call them out for it like when they're on top of that ambulance and blocking the ambulance you should have told them to move obviously and in his apology video it would have been nice if he took some accountability here and said he screwed up and he should have told people to move and he should have helped more people out and also it would have been nice if he said he was sorry that he didn't stop the show and those people were begging him to i just hope that more people start realizing that these celebrities don't care about you that much travis scott decided to continue his show even after people were pleading with him that it's gotten extremely dangerous and even after he saw a lifeless body being dragged away and even after he saw people blocking an ambulance from helping somebody the guy just does not care he'd rather continue his show than actually help anyone so i'm gonna wrap up the video here i just want to say one more time rest in peace to everyone that passed away this event was insanely tragic it was terrible to hear this is some really disturbing shit going on and i hope justice is served to all the people that are responsible for this so thanks for watching the video and make sure you stay safe out there